From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. IBM, of course, delivers smart cloud services to the consumers and industry and lots of folks because it is about the cloud. And now they're talking smart clouds. Our next guest is the general manager with IBM, Bruce Anderson. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Hey, Bruce, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks th Thanks for having me here again, Dave. It's a pleasure. You always have innovative things to talk about, so we can't avoid chatting with you. <laughs> and, of course, hey, come on, IBM, because you guys are doing fun things and working with a lot of industry and a lot of manufacturers and others to kind of keep things fun for all of us and yet more productive in many cases. Absolutely. Not, not only more fun for consumers and more reliable for consumers, but also more profitable for manufacturers. And that gets their attention, which in the long run helps all of us, hopefully, as consumers. You know, we can save money and time and effort and have perhaps more entertainment options and storage options and all sorts of stuff. Absolutely. So what you work in these days, uh, tell me about this whole smart cloud. You know, I'd like to think the cloud's already smart, presumably. At least if it has my data in it, right? <laughs> it, it, it is, but you know, the the, the cloud is there, and, and as you go around the show, you're going to see that pretty much everything is getting connected to the cloud. The question is, what are you going to do with all of that? Yeah. All right. Is it going to create more value for the consumer? Is it going to make service a lot easier for the manufacturer? And so if you think about getting something smart, you have to really analyze something. So all that data that's going up, and it's, it's an unbelievable amount of big data, right? Sure needs to be analyzed and it needs to then be brought back and spit back you know into somewhere something actionable right something that either the consumer can get value from or the manufacturer can get value from that's a good point because otherwise there is so much data as consumers i think we can all relate to it as well because we've collected so much of this data whether it's our music libraries or or videos or pictures on our smartphones that we just haven't gotten off there whatever the case we're all overwhelmed it seems with big data and what do we do with it all Absolutely, and you know, there's a lot of data that's being captured today by a lot of sensors that really isn't used. So if you're using a new smart device in your home, and all of a sudden you need to do some setup or some service, or, or just, just use it, why doesn't it know more, right? Why doesn't it take the data you've already told it or data that that company knows about you and put that together and deliver a different value proposition to you? Now that's what you guys at IBM are working on, again, with a lot of different manufacturers, especially we're finding all sorts of devices on the show floor that have some IBM inside stuff. <laughs> Absolutely, so you probably saw the, annou the announcement about the Smart TV Alliance. Sure. Uh, so IBM has been the technology provider for that for quite some time. Uh, we now have joined the Alliance as well. Uh, so you've got Panasonic, you've got TP Vision, the former Philips uh, brand. Right. Uh, you've got LG, you've got Sharp, and now Toshiba. So when you look, look at that, you're really talking about, I would guess, maybe half of the volume that happens yeah. in the world in terms sure. of television. Oh, I think easily. And, and there are some movers and shakers that if they're going to work together to make things easier on the consumer in the long run, we're paying attention. Absolutely. You know, it, you know building out a cloud for a back end is not inexpensive, right? Yeah. If you're big, like, you know, say Apple or Samsung, you can probably build your own. But a lot of these companies are really looking for a way to get cloud-based products out there, but do it very affordably. That's where the IBM Smart Cloud comes in. So as part of the alliance, we're able to do things on a per device basis with the manufacturers. They can go ahead and uh, connect their devices. We can help them analyze their data and then figure out how do they use that to enhance the consumer experience and sometimes even more importantly, the service experience yes. that they have to pay for. And I like how you brought up some, even if they're just appliances in our home, why shouldn't they communicate? You know, we've joked for years about, well, great, just what I need is my toaster to text me that the, the toast is ready. But th it goes far beyond beyond that, and especially if there are service-related things. Oh, absolutely, Dave. And I brought along a little device, if you wouldn't mind holding that Not up. Not at all. Let me make sure that Chris can get it on camera for you. Again, intotomorrow.com yep. for all the video. Just look for Bruce and IBM for this particular uh, demonstration. Yeah, so using the IBM Worklight software, mm -hmm. we've actually used this device to connect to the cloud and actually show how, how you could uh, have a consumer do self-service, but then also interact with, a, uh, with the manufacturer's call center. So if I'm looking at uh, my television here, and uh, I'm sorry, let me get back here. No problem, I'm, I'm making um, it difficult for you because I'm trying to angle it for the camera and there we <laughs> it's go. hard to get to and it. I'm, ha I'm having a little trouble with my television, right? Yeah. And so I'm in my, the concierge, our cloud concierge. Oh, right, excuse me very much. <laughs> and I'm the consumer and, and the problem is with my television. So through the cloud, what just happened is it's using inline data to analyze my problem and adjust the settings. Why should I have to pull out a remote control and figure this out, right? And so that doesn't seem to work. The picture's still not right. And as I 
move along here. It says, well, would you check the cables on the back? Because it knows exactly what kind of a television So this I is am. helping me. I, I noticed the button you hit was, uh, in case you couldn't see it on the video, was the interactive section. The interactive so now section. it's helping me as a consumer try to figure out what the problem is myself. It yeah. is. And guess what? The, it still didn't work. So we can now do a, either a chat or a VoIP call direct to the call center for the manufacturer. And guess what? We've relayed this entire history to the manufacturer. Awesome. Right? Now the manufacturer wants to know that, that you're, you're fine, everything's good. But the manufacturer would like to make some money, and so of course they do a little <laughs> advertisement when they let you off the call. There you go. And see if they can get you to download the movie. <laughs> and that's an awesome idea because now the consumer's happy, things are fixed, it's working again. Why not sell me a movie or, or get me Absolutely. to do something that I'm happy yeah. about now? And Dave, what people want when it comes to service, they want it to be simple, whether they're doing the setup, whether they're surfing, or whether they need service. Yeah. There ah. you go. Watson still <laughs> working with you at IBM? Absolutely. So you think about all the data, mm -hmm. who's going to parse through all of the data from all the customers? customer chats and all the customer calls and come come back with the right answer Watson ah uh -huh, very good well then you're you're taking good care of Watson and we or are. he's taking good care of all of us in he the is. long run he all is. right not just playing jeopardy he's doing all the no, work that has to be he's done doing re Watson has been put to real work now no more games love it one day I'm gonna hold you to interviewing Watson uh, we're on okay we got it <laughs> we got to do that ibm.com slash electronics will get you to some of the goodies that Bruce was talking about correct and, and the, uh, the ability to learn a little bit more about this all this stuff do check it out and of course into tomorrow.com um, we'll get you there to their site as well. Bruce, thanks for joining us again. Thank you. Back with more from Las Vegas, I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow. Visit intotomorrow.com.